So Be More Chill is really in right now, which is kind of odd since it's not actually running. But I found it and I found out that it was based off of a book that was written by one of my favorite authors. So in this video, I will be discussing the differences between the show and the book. Disclaimer, I have not seen the show. I've just listened to the music and read the synopsis. So because of that, I can't make the most accurate comparisons, but I tried to be as informed as possible. Also, if you couldn't guess, this video has spoilers. If you know nothing about Be More Chill, here's a quick synopsis of the main themes so you're not totally confused. Be More Chill is about Jeremy here, a high school boy who's not cool, so he basically swallows a tiny computer in the form of a pill that is going to teach him how to be cool. This computer proceeds to talk to him in his head all the time and be generally problematic. The whole concept is kind of ridiculous, but that's what makes it funny and weird and relatable. So the first thing I would like to talk about is character and characterization. Since Jeremy is the main character, we're obviously going to start with him. In the book, Jeremy is generally more apathetic and kind of unfeeling towards everyone. He seems very detached from everything. He also has humiliation sheets in the book, and I don't know if this is in the show or not, but it was one of my favorite things about the book. He prints out these sheets and he tallies every time he does something humiliating or is humiliated in some way. <laughs> in the show, he's generally more empathic and feeling, but he's also way more of a jerk in the second act than he ever was in the book. In the book, he still included Michael in all of his escapades and wasn't neglectful of their friendship. Show Jeremy is just a generally more intense person all around, in both kindness and cruelty. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about Michael, Jeremy's best friend. His appearance in the book is very different from his appearance in the show. In the book, he's described as having a white afro and a tall, skinny person and just generally more dorky than George Salazar is. I really like the casting for Michael in the show, though, and I wouldn't change it for the world. In the book, Michael is a lot more passive-aggressive. He doesn't directly call Jeremy out on his shit like he probably should, <laughs> and he has a thing for Asian girls. In fact, at a party, he hooks up with an Asian girl he met online. <laughs> His relationship with Jeremy in the book is a lot less meaningful. I'm a little bit biased, but I think Michael is the best character. He's so much more likable in the show than he is in the book, and I really like the way the show portrayed his relationship with Jeremy far more than the shallow relationship that they had in the book. Now, Christine. In the show, she's actually a strong female character who has personality and opinions. In the book, she's extremely stereotypical. She's actually a blonde white girl in the book who's tall and kind of stupid. So the representation of her in the show is obviously a little bit better. In both the show and the book, Christine and Jeremy have very real and intense chemistry, and I think that's why the story is believable. It seems plausible that Jeremy would swallow a supercomputer to get with this girl. <laughs> Jeremy's parents are slightly different from book to show. In the book, both of his parents are present in his life, his dad in the book definitely takes on a more comedic purpose and less of a parental purpose. He walks around completely buck naked all the time in the novel. His mom definitely is the bad cop parent who reprimands him for staying out too late or stealing her car. It makes sense plot-wise, though, why they would combine the mom and the dad characters for a stage production. It also makes sense that they would make Jeremy's dad wear clothes on stage, obviously. <laughs> so, the minor characters. Rich is the most major of the minor characters. In the book, he's fairly irrelevant, honestly. He's really only there in the novel because he gives Jeremy the info to get his own squip. He's extremely underdeveloped and just generally an asshole. In the show, he's obviously more relevant since he's the reason that Jeremy figures out how to cure the squip issue. I also really like his character development in the show because bisexual representation? Hell yes! The girls... Brooke and Chloe are actually combinations of multiple characters in the book, which again makes sense for a stage adaption. Jenna is pretty much exactly the same as she is in the book, except that her slutty friend was not called Madeline in the book. Her slutty friend was Elizabeth, and it was actually her alter ego. Jake, kind of like the other girls, was a combination of a bunch of male characters in the book, and it, just like with the combination of the girl characters, it makes sense. A lot of the male characters didn't have very relevant dialogue. 
Obviously, because the novel is in first person, we get a lot less character development from the book and a lot more character development from the show. However, I'm a little bit biased towards thinking that the show has better characters in general. Now that we have all the character analysis out of the way, let's talk plot. The first act and the first part of the book are almost exactly the same if you ignore those small character combinations and some other minor changes. Now the second act is where things get crazy. The book ends with Jeremy interrupting the school play to ask out Christine and she of course reacts horribly because she's embarrassed. The script doesn't know how to deal with the fact that Christine didn't respond positively and has an emergency shutdown. Jeremy tries to explain to Christine that he acted the way he did because he had a computer in his brain telling him what to do, and she, of course, thinks he's insane and blows him off. <laughs> he goes back to his house and talks to Michael and the squip, and they decide they're going to write a book about everything that happened and give it to Christine. Maybe if she reads it and understands, she'll go out with him. In the book, the squip actually says that after they write the novel, that Jeremy needs to shut him down because he's flawed technology. You'll notice how in my character analysis I didn't talk about the squip at all, and that's because I wanted to talk about him now. I love the version of the squip that's in the book. His character development is amazing. In fact, he's the most developed character besides Jeremy, and you really do love this computer. <laughs> he's not evil. He genuinely thinks he's doing what's right based on what he's been programmed to do. This is very different in the show, and I think that the characterization that they used for the squip in the show is very good for a stage production, however, it definitely paints the squip as the villain. The ending in the show is kind of insane. Jeremy gets rejected by Christine, so the squip decides the only way to get Christine to like Jeremy is to have everyone in the school have squips. It has Jeremy put a bunch of squips into a vat of Mountain Dew that everyone performing the school play drinks, and the entire cast of the play ends up with squips in their brain. And then there's this epic scene where Michael comes in and saves the day with Mountain Dew Red and shuts all the squips off. The ending of the show brought everyone back together, we get to see Rich again, and we get to see Christine and Jeremy get together, but I don't like it as much as the way the book ended. Of course, the book ending would have been a theatrical disaster. It's anticlimactic, and so while I prefer the book ending, I also think that the way the show ended was perfect for a stage production. Needless to say, I love both the book and the show, and I think that they are wonderful. I recommend reading the book, and I also recommend listening to the show, and there are links to where you can find both of those things in the description. I hope you liked this video. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like Be More Chill, leave a comment telling me why you like it, or if you've read the book, or something like that. If you would like to see more of my content, subscribe to my channel. I put new videos out almost every week. I love you all, you're all glorious, and I'll see you next time. Bye!